For the United States, the coronavirus poses a host of questions, and many begin with what if? What if the virus spreads? What if it can't be slowed? What if quarantines prove ineffective? In Washington, the House Committee on Foreign Affairs held the first U.S. government hearing on the coronavirus. Much of the discussion focused on quarantines. At one point, Republican Congressman Brian Mast challenging health care witnesses, with a lawmaker contending quarantines at least stem the spread of disease. Would slowing the transmission be a victory? No. Well, it's a victory for other cities, other countries. Is it a victory for the United States of America? It's a victory for a human being. Even as the hearing went on, the first two of four planes bringing U.S. citizens from ground zero, Wuhan, China, were landing at American military bases where passengers would be quarantined for 14 days, according to the Centers for Disease Control. Experts testifying on Capitol Hill joined a chorus of health specialists who believe the Trump administration's travel ban to China will not help the situation and even undercut efforts to contain the virus. I am concerned that by our signaling out China for travel bans, we are effectively penalizing it for reporting cases. This may diminish its willingness to further share data and chill other countries' willingness to be transparent about their own outbreaks. Concern seems to be spreading more rapidly than the coronavirus in the United States. The CDC is urging citizens to avoid buying protective masks and rubber gloves, saying those are more greatly needed by health care workers. Reacting to reports that some Chinese Americans have been taunted and bullied, Ron Klain, who headed up the U.S. response to the Ebola outbreak, had this to say. All of us need to be on the watch for discrimination against Chinese Americans and speak out strongly against it. The coronavirus strikes humans, not people of any particular race or ethnicity. The House chair said the Trump administration turned down the opportunity to speak at the public hearing. Members also pointed out that Trump wants to cut the CDC's budget by as much as 20 percent this year, even as the nation struggles with an outbreak that could turn into a pandemic. Sean Caleb, CGTN in Washington.